Okay, I'm back with Cheeky Jumbo Plate 7. This one is called Home Sweet Home. So the theme is more things that you find around the house. Um, top third, again, is small isolated images, and the bottom two thirds are full nail images. Uh, this one has starts with a little coffee cup and an electric light bulb, some paw prints. Now that I have so many animals, I definitely can use all the paw prints I can get. Um, a little boy flying a kite, a uh, little watering can, kitten with some yarn, and a, a puppy going a little nutso there. Oh, another puppy. And then an umbrella. Old school phone. I wonder how many people have actually ever used a phone. They look like that. Another fun dog. A snail. I like snails. I just found out something very disturbing about them. They are cannibals, and if you didn't know that, if one of them is dead, others will come and eat it. Um, yeah, it was a little disturbing for me. Uh, fish! Cool fish, and then another puppy. Can you see that? Okay. A little Volkswagen bug. And then uh, a little birdie. Some flowers, ice cream sundae, I can definitely get behind that. Fun daisy style flower, alarm clock, I cannot get behind that. Don't like to wake up in the morning, sorry. Uh, old, old style bicycle, I love those with the big wheels, I think they're so pretty. Um, a timer <clears throat> for if you're playing games, or I guess some people maybe still use that when they cook. Um, top hat and bow tie, special events. A little smile, another smiley uh, coffee cup with some steam coming off, and a popsicle or an ice cream bar, some candy, and I like the fact that they put the word candy right next to it, otherwise I'm not sure I would have gotten that, because it, it's a little bit, but now that I know it's candy, I'm good. Um, slice of cake. Okay, now getting into the overall images. I love, I love coffee. I love tea as well, but I really love coffee, so that's great. And I like the detailing on this cupcake image. I think it's got a lot of, you know, with the frosting and the cherry, it works for me. How cool is that? I just love that with the old bowler hats and the, and the gloves and <clears throat> uh, cooking stuff if you're a baker. Pies and all kinds of fun things there. Pets, we got cats and we got puppies and we got fishes. And one of my favorite images, oh, I should have said, this is one of my favorite plates from the collection. And these next two images are part of the reason why. That home sweet home with the old kind of Victorian style house, I love that. And I love those bird cages with the birds in them. So pretty and cute, but also elegant and nice. Um, some roses in case uh, you're like me and you're not the best at freehanding them. Those are a good kind of guide to go by. Um, my father used to use an espresso pot like this, espresso, excuse me, pot like this, and uh, I love it, so I like having that. It also makes me think of, of Italy. Um, overall uh, flower design. I like that they put a few of these overall flowery kind of designs on every plate. Um, a couple more reasons why this is my favorite plate. I love this key image. I just think it's just really vintage and fun. And these birdhouses with the hearts. That is so sweet. Just so, so sweet. Um, candy. And then M&M's, another kind of candy. Although it doesn't say M&M, but we all know it's M&M's. That it's prob well, we all, let's put it this way. We all know that you could use it for M&M's. And last Halloween I had to do um, a candy manicure, and those would have come in really handy for that. Um, carrots for out in your garden, another um, flower. I love this with the solid leaves. I don't have a lot of stuff that has solid leaves and then the little kind of berries on there that you could do in all kinds of different colors. Um, those look like eggplants to me, so I'm going with eggplant. Um, lights, home repair. Could you, I could see doing a home repair manicure to celebrate renovations on a house. With that, very neat. Or good ideas. If you have a good idea, you can use your little electric bulbs there. Um, hangers for anything from fashion to, you know, closets or, you know, all kinds of stuff. Pretty, pretty lilies. I have, um, some lilies like this that I've had for years and years and years in my backyard, and that makes me think of them. Um, television sets, 
sort of old school television sets too, so a little bit retro. I love anything with leaves, so this is great, that, and especially it has so many different kinds. Tomatoes, I guess, that'll go with your, um, with your eggplant. You can make yourself a ratatouille. Some bananas. Ice cream cones, and again, I like the way these ice cream cones are made. Um, I like the detail, and they'd be easy to color in with a color if you wanted to. Lollipops, and then the two more reasons why I adore this plate. Those coffee beans, I intend to use that. I, I'm probably going to have to buy a second one of these plates because I will wear it out. I will wear that image out. I plan to use it so much. And then this, um, the bicycle. I don't really understand why they put the winged heart in the middle of it, but that's okay because I still like it no matter what. Uh, kites. Last year I was in a summer challenge and I needed a kite and I didn't have a kite. So it's funny how you get in these challenges and you realize all of this stuff that uh, you don't have. Um, little cupcakes that have smiley faces for you. Um, and I, I, I said it before, I'll say it again. I love these images with the words. I think they can go, if you want to do something cute, if you want to do something elegant, it works for all of those things. Uh, fruit medley, all different kinds of fruits. And some little dragonflies flying through some pretty flowers. Um, garlic, if I can get it into focus here garlic maybe there we go and tools again for that home renovation so again this is home sweet home and it is jumbo plate seven and i'm going to go test out the images and i'll be back with that and with the size comparison okay i'm back with my stamping test of cheeky plate jumbo plate seven um, in my last video, I said that I didn't anticipate there being any problems with um, any of these plates. And so, of course, in the very next test I did, I found a problem. Um, when I saw this little kitty, I looked at it and I thought, wow, I'm not quite sure how how that's going to come out. But you know what? Sometimes things look a little funny and you try them and, and they come out all right. But not so much this one. I had a hard time getting all the lines in place and... I don't know, to me, it just doesn't really look like, I mean, the image that was there, I think, stamped. I just think that this particular image is kind of a fail. Um, it doesn't really look very good. It's kind of gloppy. And um, so to the degree that that image is a fail, it, it, it stamped beautifully, but it's also a fail. So um, luckily, I, I didn't see very many images on these plates that looked like that. So I don't think that that'll be a big issue. But if you're buying the plate because you hope to use that image, that's what it looks like. So, okay, let's look at the rest. One of my favorite images on here, this home sweet home, you can see, all, look at all that great detail, came out beautifully. Uh, another one of my favorite images here is the key image, also came out beautifully. Um, I love this little smiling coffee cup, and it also came out beautifully. And um, those are the four I tried. So, well, like I say, with the exception of this one, this plate also seems to be stamping really well. So, um, no big issues here. Size comparison, um, if you have the cheeky alphabet jumbo plates, these are the same size images as those. Um, so, you'll be getting the same thing here. In terms of comparison to Conad, you can see... This is a little bit bigger, the, the jumbo, here I'll do it like this. You can see it's a little bit taller and you can see it's a little bit wider. Um, close to the same size, but a little bit bigger. So it'll give you a little bit more leeway. Um, okay, so that's it for that one. Uh, a pretty positive review, except for um, one that I think was just maybe not the greatest design to have on a stamping plate. All right, I will be back soon with Jumbo Plate 8. Thank you for watching.